Welcome to World News. Tonight, welcome news for the housing market. Mortgage rates plunged to their lowest level since the 1960s, touching off a financing frenzy. Whiteout. Heavy storms are dumping snow and ice from coast to coast. Even Las Vegas can't bet on good weather. Pastor protest. The choice of Rick Warren to play a key role at the inauguration sparks an angry backlash. Our closer look. And on a mission. The World War II veteran fighting to restore a hallowed battleground that has become a garbage dump. Look at this sand here. I, I can't stand it. From ABC News headquarters, this is World News with Charles Gibson. Good evening. Head of veterans' final battle, restoring hallowed ground where so many of his comrades gave their lives. Finally tonight, Leon Cooper took part in one of the bloodiest battles of World War II, the fight for the tiny Pacific island of Tarawa. Many of his comrades died there. And recently, when he returned to Tarawa, he was shocked to see what had happened to the ground for which they fought. And so he's embarked on one last mission. Here's Ned Potter. Tarawa. Bloody Tarawa. More than 65 years after the battle there, Leon Cooper says it still haunts him. They were shooting at from here, from there, and from there. Cooper is now 89. He was a Navy ensign when the U.S. attacked the Japanese there in 1943. He was in charge of a Higgins boat, a landing craft that was meant to bring armed Marines ashore. It's etched in my mind. The Japanese were far better prepared for our assault than we were in making it. When word got back here to the States, there was shock. U.S. troops had not yet had such trouble storming a beach. The Navy says at least 1,700 Americans were killed. Such carnage that the White House felt compelled to let the American public see it. This is as bad as it ever got. For the first time, Americans saw dead Americans in combat. And it was a very difficult time. Cooper went back with a documentary crew. Look at this sand here. And says he found the beach where so many died converted to a garbage dump. I, I can't stand it. And there's more. Cooper has met private researchers who have scanned Tarawa with special radar and say more than 100 U.S. Marines are still buried there. The Defense Department says the evidence is unclear. You know, dried Cooper. Cooper has now gone to Washington to argue the island is hallowed ground, that the garbage needs to be cleaned up, and if there are bodies there, they need to come home. He tells the story of a young Marine he tried and failed to help. He was saying something. I couldn't hear him. I got closer to his lips, and then I think I heard, I can't guarantee it, remember me, he said, remember me. Not many people do remember Tarawa. Leon Cooper says he cannot get it out of his mind. Ned Potter, ABC News, Washington. One last campaign for Tarawa. That is World News for this Thursday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you had a good day. For all of us at ABC News, have a good night.